الله اكبر مجزره مجزره بمشفى عفرين مجزره بوسط المشفى يا شباب A year ago, two rockets crashed into the main hospital in the Syrian city of Afrin. At least 19 people were killed, including four hospital staff, three children and six women, one of whom was giving birth. Their families are still looking for answers. Attacks on hospitals have been a common feature in the decade-long Syrian war. However, the culprit for this attack remains unclear, with all sides blaming each other. Air Wars used satellite imagery, witness testimony, CCTV and drone footage to reconstruct the attack, trying to piece together who may have been responsible. Around 6pm, a series of missiles hit farmland in West Afrin. The wounded were rushed to Al-Shifa Hospital, just a few hundred metres away. An hour later, while medical staff worked to save the injured, two missiles hit the hospital. The first hit here, in the alleyway of the emergency department. Among the victims was a man in a wheelchair. Medic Mohammed Al Agawani narrowly survived the attack. بصراحة أمر مرعب جدا يعني واحد بلحظة القصف بحس بزلزال وبعدين أول لحظات ما بسوعب شو اللي صار يعني هل أنا ميت هل أنا عايش. Seconds later, another rocket hit the physiotherapy clinic, penetrating this wall and damaging the pediatrics, ENT and surgical clinics. Images of the impact location show a metal rafter broken and bent by the projectile. By analysing the angle of impact, we can determine that the projectile came from an easterly direction. We narrowed the launch area down further by investigating another impact, allegedly from the same volley of projectiles. Dr. Amin Kosho was sitting at his kitchen table at home, 300 metres from the hospital, when a rocket struck the building opposite. It did not penetrate the reinforced wall, but sent shrapnel towards Kosho's balcony and through his door, killing him instantly. Turkish-backed authorities confiscated munitions remnants from the hospital, but a rocket was found in between there and Kosho's house. It was identified as a 122mm rocket, a common weapon in Syria launched by a BM-21 Grad. These rockets typically have a range of between 5 and 20 kilometers, and their angle of impact corresponds to the distance they're fired from. Coming from the east, the rocket that killed Amin Kosho would have had to clear the top of the neighboring building, entering at a minimum angle of 27 degrees and a maximum angle of 63 degrees. A world expert in Grad rockets reviewed our visual evidence. He agreed the strike came from the east, and said the debris pattern indicated a low angle of impact. Merging his analysis with our modelling, we have determined that the rockets were likely launched from this area. At the time, it was largely under the control of the US-backed Syrian Democratic Forces and allied groups. However, Syrian government forces and Russian forces were also known to operate there. Even with such a small launch area identified, we can't be sure who is responsible for killing civilians and destroying such vital medical infrastructure. The Syrian Democratic Forces, Russian and Syrian government forces all continue to deny responsibility. A year on, the survivors are still suffering. Every day, every few days, we see a storm. This is always there. It's a storm.